So I'm going to show you how to make a simple model where you can use it for Windows Mixed Reality 3D Launcher. So the first thing you want to do if you're not familiar with Blender is get used to the navigation. You're going to want to be able to make this type of pan. The way you do that is by holding down the middle mouse button and drag it. With Windows Mixed Reality, it expects the model to be facing the Z direction. And Blender uses the right hand model, which means Z is going to be facing up. So what we want to do is get Y at the top and X to the right. So you just take your zoom and your pan and kind of just wiggle it around to get it right there. Now you can pan everything over by holding shift and then drag it using the middle mouse button again. All right, so now we're going to add a UV sphere. You can see it gets placed right in the center. However, it's not above the floor. So this X line you can see here will be the Windows Mixed Reality floor, and we need the model above it. So the way we can do that is you come over here to Object, and in the Transform, you can move it along the Y direction. So we're going to move it just above the floor, say right there. The next step is to rotate the sphere. Um, we can do that on the X direction. Do it by 90 degrees. All right, so the next step is you want to create a material. You come over here to the Materials tab, and click New. And we're just going to keep this simple with the color. So let's make it a nice bluish color like that. Now, with our model created, positioned correctly, we can do the export. Come over to File, Export, GLB. Click Export, and you're done. Now, with our model created, let's go into Visual Studio where you have your immersive app. And the first thing we want to do is import the new model. To add existing item, remember where you put it. add the file and this is very important because Visual Studio isn't familiar with the GLB file it doesn't have a default build action for it so we're gonna have to come in go to properties and change the build action to content now with the asset added we need to change our manifest file normally if you double click manifest file you get the editor we don't need that we want to edit the XML directly so you right click and you select the view code so the first thing we want to do is add in a new XML namespace. Put it in here, and then we want to add it to the ignorable namespaces, so UAP5. With that set up, we come down and we find our default tile. Once you find a default tile, break it open. So we need to name that appropriately, which was my blue sphere. All right, it looks like we're good to go. Now we build and deploy.